gentlemen, give it up for C. Richard Dick Cranwell. Thank you, Bob. And, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, as Bob indicated, we served in the House of Delegates together. I was there for 30 years. But I want to I want to paint y'all a picture about today. Okay. I want you to visualize the wee hours this morning. Down in the mountains of southwest Virginia, there's a stirring in the Cranwell household. <laughs> because one C. Richard Cranwell has been told that in Annandale, at the fire department, there is a machine that harkens back to Thomas Edison where politicians come to reinvent themselves. I could not resist the temptation to come and see this wonderful machine that will move one from the radical spectrum of politics to the middle of the road. So that is why I am here this morning. To tell you that just because a leopard may run for governor, he cannot change his spot. Now, look, look, we all know that for the last eight years, Virginia has been blessed with common sense leaders who provide common sense solutions to real problems for real people. We've been blessed with Mark Warner and Tim Kaine. And let's just, let, let's, let's tick it off because sometimes Democrats are reticent about taking credit. But you know, AAA bond rating that was in jeopardy thanks to, what was his name? Gil who? <laughs> Governor Gilmore, I'm just kidding. It was actually our AAA bond rating, which only six states have. Was at risk? Mark saved that. But during the eight years that these two men have been in the governor's office, Forbes magazine has said that Virginia is the best place in America to do business. Now, you know what that means? That means that Virginia is a magnet to draw new businesses, for the creation of new jobs. Education Weekly has said that Virginia is the best place in America for a child to be born to expect success for their lifelong dream. Governing Magazine has said that Virginia is the best managed state in the country. Now, you all know what that means? That means for all government services you get, you get the best bang for your buck in Virginia than any place in America. Folks, that's progress. That's moving Virginia forward. But you know what? Our friend down the road here is trying to reinvent himself. During that eight years, he was on the staff and a card-carrying member and worker of Dr. No. For example, in 2004, when we had to reform the budget, to get us back on the road to prosperity that Gilmore put us in the ditch. Bob McDonald was not on our side, was he? And when the President of the United States said, we're going to send some money to help stimulate the economy in Virginia and improve the quality of life in our communities, Bob McDonald was not on our side, was he? No. And when we look, we said, you know, parents go out to dinner and they take their children with them to eat and maybe we don't want people smoking in restaurants, a bipartisan effort, I might add. Bob McDonald was... No. You got it, folks. Now, the lab is working hard down here. And he's trying hard to reinvent himself. But trust me, I served with him. He believes in the politics 
of division. He believes in the debate incessantly of social issues that divide us, not bring us together. Well, folks, let me tell you, we have three tremendous candidates for government. And in June, and I, listen, I hear, I, I hear it all the time. I hear the hand ringing and the gnashing your teeth and everybody moaning, can't you do something to work this out? And I say, look, this is the same thing we were going through last year when people were saying we had to stop the presidential primary. Look, in June, either we're going to have the Truman-esque leader from the mountains of southwest Virginia or the fiery fighter from Alexander or the energized leader from Fairfax as our candidate for governor and they're going to be candidates in the mold of Mark Warner and Tim Kaine, the kind of candidates we need to move Virginia forward. Now folks, over the last eight years, we have seen the road. We have seen the road to progress and we have seen the road to success. And let me tell you what, that road is not covered and littered with signs that say no. It is not littered with potholes that are filled with divisive debate over social issues. It is a nice, beautiful, four-lane highway that is lit with the common sense strategy of doing what? Building a strong business environment, having world-class education, and in one of these days, one of these days we're going to get around to having world-class transportation as soon as we get rid of five or six more Republicans in the House of Delegates. So folks, I really believe that they got McDonald up here on a roost because I really don't think that machine can transform folks. We'll see. My dad always said, if a guy can tell you he can jump real high, he said, don't listen to his words. You will look at his deeds. Folks, y'all look at Bob McDonald's voting record. He is not he is not, I repeat, on our side. Now, we need the energy that we've had last year, the year before, because we had success. We've taken the Senate back. I don't need to run through the litany for you. You know what we've done. But let me tell you what. We've had some close races of recent vintage, okay? So we need to make sure we have the energy on our side. And I drove all the way up here. Excuse me. That's a misnomer. I drove all the way to the airport. <laughs> to come up here to see this great machine and to tell you all that it was a joke and that Bob McDonald was not a leader who would move Virginia forward. I ask you all to join with me to spread the word in Virginia that whatever vaccination he's hoped to receive this morning is not going to take on him and he's still going to be the same McDonald that he was when I was in the House of Delegates with him. Now, having said all that, y'all give me a round of applause. That's pretty good little cool. <laughs> Having said that, it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of the Democratic Caucus, the majority chair of the Democratic Caucus in the state senate, and one of the best senators Virginia's ever had, Senator Mary Margaret Whitman. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.